So today I want to talk about Elemental Craft Stickers because they are now one of the best ways to redeem your stars in the Armory Pass right now. Uh, and this is actually pretty surprising because prices have been extremely volatile and all over the place. So keeping up on the latest ways and the latest strategies uh, to actually redeem your stars pro uh, most profitably and efficiently and effectively has been kind of a hard thing to keep up with. And this is kind of an unexpected bounce back for the Elemental Craft Stickers and some of the other stuff in the Armory Pass. And what I like most about these is I actually do think they are going to be a very, very strong investment investment in the long term as well. Uh, so I am Jeremy CS2 collector, investor, and cash trader. In this video today, I want to talk about the Elemental Craft stickers uh, and why I think uh, they're a great way to redeem your stars right now and why I also think they're a great investment and in, in, uh, maybe some different price targets and stuff like that um, to actually be able to, to buy them and hold them for the long term in a way that makes sense. Um, of course, first is want to mention my cash trading business. Uh, if you guys are looking to sell any of your CS2 items, turn them into cold hard cash or crypto or any other payment method, definitely hit me up over on Twitter. It's going to be the first thing in the description below. Buying pretty much anything and everything for the right price. Um, obviously, uh, the bigger the stuff, the better. You know, we like to cash out full inventories. We like to get knives, gloves, cool skins, expensive agents, expensive stickers, all that stuff. Um, that's always the most fun stuff uh, and stuff that's kind of the, the most worthwhile for my time, but also um, the things that you want to really, really make sure you cash out safely on um, so we can help you get those big deals done um, safely, effectively, and efficiently. With that being said, let's get right into this video today um, because this was October 23rd. About a week ago, Brongo tweeted out, Armory rewards are officially unprofitable. With Steam's 13% tax, the only reward expected to make you profit is the gallery case. It only took 14 days after items entering the market to achieve this. And we can see right here, the Elemental Craft Stickers on October 23rd were 101% profitable um, in terms of their Steam prices. And again, after that 13% Steam tax, that was going to bring you for sure below 100%. Uh, and it didn't, all of a sudden, it was this big problem for the Armory Pass because uh, Armory Pass, they're trying to get people to play the game. Uh, and yeah, people will still buy Armory Passes and they'll play the game and they'll, you know, maybe gamble on a collection and try and get a big skin or whatever. But uh, way more people are going to be buying Armory Passes and redeeming them uh, and actually playing the game if uh, it's actually profitable profitable to uh, unbox some of these collections or if there's expected ROI or expected EV or whatever. But now fast forward six or seven days today on October 29th and we can see some things have actually bounced back in big weights. And this is what I was warning people about. Prices don't necessarily just go straight down. Prices will be very volatile moving up and down all the time because once something becomes very unprofitable to unbox, like the elemental craft stickers are right now sitting at 153.5% ROI on unboxing those uh, for 40 cents or, you know, one star. Obviously, uh, with, once you factor in the steam tax, these are steam prices. Once you factor in that steam tax, you're going to have a little bit less ROI, but still, those are going to be profitable and those are going to be very profitable. But guess what? Now that they're profitable, people are going to start redeeming them again. And I'm sure over the next week or so, uh, we're going to see those prices go back down. Obviously, that uh, seven day market restriction is definitely something to keep in mind because even if somebody sees that they're 153% uh, profitable right now, uh, they can't actually act on this for like seven or eight days or whatever. So, again, this is that adds an extra wrinkle to this whole thing. It's going to make prices extremely volatile. Prices on all these items are not going to go straight down, but different things will move up and down all the time because once something becomes very profitable, it's going to get pressure down. And once it becomes unprofitable or less desirable to open, uh, you know, then those prices could start to rebound. So we saw charms really dominating the market early on, but now charms have crashed way down. Charms are now uh, unprofitable and we've seen the prices of mini charms just absolutely tanking. Stickers were up high. They've come back down, but now they have bounced back up. And I do think uh, it's very interesting that we've seen the Elemental Craft stickers specifically um, pushing way far ahead because they're even significantly ahead of the Character Craft stickers at this point. Uh, and honestly, this is something I'm excited about because I do think the Elemental Craft stickers are awesome. I think they're they're not like the, my favorite sticker set ever, but I think they're very, very cool. I think they're the best uh, armory items, and I think they're some of the best long-term investments. Now, something I absolutely love about the Elemental Craft stickers is that they are consumable. They're some of the only consumable items in the entire armory. Again, charms are not consumable. Uh, the Desert Eagle Heat Treated is not consumable. Uh, yes, we do have uh, like trade up skins in all of our different collections, but um, also at the end of the day, you know, the, the real big pull skins like the M41S Fade and all this stuff, like that, those things are not consumable. Whatever we open up, that's going to stay forever. But these stickers, they are consumable. Once we're actually using them and crafting with them, they are going away. And obviously, the big thing with the Armory Pass as well is that people can't just buy unlimited stars and just redeem them, redeem them, redeem them, and make like a billion stickers. People actually have to play the game. Uh, and this is something I heard Anomaly talking about as well. Like, you know, the, the Armory Pass, it's not cheap. It's not like free. It's like, you know, it's 15 or 16 bucks. And if you want to be farming five of them at once, that's going to be like $75. Like there is some barrier to entry here. Now, obviously you can recoup hopefully a lot of that value by redeeming your stars in profitable or, or, or efficient ways, uh, but it still does require some capital 
capital investment. Uh, and then you also have to play the game as well. It's a time and a money investment to actually get these things, which could end up being very, very good. And obviously, um, people are going to look at the Elemental Craft stickers and, uh, you know, look back to previous like operations or obviously the Armory Pass is like kind of an operation, kind of not, whatever. This is a new thing, but it's very similar to operations. And we have something like the Operation Riptide sticker collection, which I do think in some ways the Elemental Craft sticker collection is very similar to. You have some stickers like the Great Wave, like the Liquid Fire um, that, that has good stickers in it that are also very, very craftable, which I think is the strong point about the Elemental sticker craft collection as well. Because you have stuff like, uh, you know, all these different fireball collections. You literally have the Hydro Wave and the Hydro Geyser. Obviously, this stuff reminds me a lot of the Great Waves. And then you have stuff like the Hot Rod Heat. You have the Scorch Loop. You have Winding Scorch. Stuff that is very, very similar to, like, the Liquid Fire as well. Now, I do think Great Wave and Liquid Fire and this stuff from Operation Riptide looks better than this Elemental Craft stuff. But there are still a lot of very, very cool things you can do with fire stickers and water stickers and stuff like that. I know I've seen people make, like, budget Desert Eagle heats and, and add different fire. And, and lava and stuff all over their guns and it looks very cool and also the good thing about these things are again you're redeeming them for just one star for just 40 cents so you can get potentially a ton of these things and when we look back to operation riptide look at the graphs of all of these stickers these are some of those stickers um who have just done insane you know this uh seeing red this is even like a bottom of the barrel sticker in this thing this is uh we have right here i have this pulled up we have the seeing red uh which is actually you know a blue rarity uh which was like the bottom. It's like, I think it's probably looks a little bit better than gutted and operation riptide, but it doesn't like look amazing. It's not, it doesn't have a hollow effect or anything like that. And this graph has just gone absolutely crazy. But one of the big things to note is that the prices for these things got so, so, so cheap. You could literally get seeing red uh, during Operation Riptide for three cents on the Steam market. Now, obviously, even if you paid a little bit more than three cents, even if you paid ten cents or twenty cents or whatever, you've still got pretty sick ROIs in the past two or three years from this. Uh, but the fact that you could pick it up for three cents made this very, very low risk and made it all that better of an investment. You had the Great Wave sticker again. This graph looks insane. We have uh, seven hundred thirty-five percent gains in like two or three years. But Great Wave at the bottom, you could get for six cents. Liquid Fire at the bottom, you could get for around fourteen cents. And again. 7,000% gains there. Absolutely insane. Liquid fire, you could get for around a dollar at the very bottom. Great wave foil, you could get for right around a dollar at the bottom of this as well. Uh, and then I have the seeing red pulled up again for whatever reason. But the, the one of the things to note here is that these elemental craft stickers right now, they are more expensive than that. I, these are the steam prices that I have pulled up right now. And one thing to note is that when we compare the Operation Riptide sticker collection, you have five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, only 14 stickers possible. Where in the elemental craft, you have a lot more like 15 20 25 26 so that means obviously each one of these stickers is going to be uh, more rare which is obviously going to boost up the price a little bit because you're just going to have lower chances of getting each individual sticker since there's so many more of them um, where in operation riptide it was a little bit easier to get you know whichever sticker you were necessarily going for but again, these prices are not, there's no sticker for three cents right now. Even the very, very bottom ones, like the boom blast and the boom epicenter are eight cents. And again, there might not seem like a big difference between three cents and eight cents, but again, that's almost a three X increase. And that is definitely going to cut into those gains and cut into those potential ROIs. So I don't know what we'll to wait and see again from everything I've seen um, from like past operations. Prices usually bottomed like a month and a half two and a half, three months uh, in, you know, it does take some time for prices to hit a bottom and then they kind of continue to go up from there. Um, but I would definitely be keeping a, a, my eye out on a lot of these stickers. Not only, like I said, are uh, Elemental Craft stickers a great way to redeem your stars right now because they're highly profitable, but some of these stickers look very, very good. And again, all these operation stickers ended up being very profitable. They ended up, ended up being great investments, no matter really what time you bought them. Uh, and we don't know how good the Armory Pass is going to be. We don't know if the Armory Pass is going to be amazing investments. Obviously, a big thing is going to depend how long these things actually stay available and how long this collection stays um, being redeemable uh, but again the that's also going to be made up a little bit for the fact that you can't buy stars you actually have to play the game to acquire stars so even if this does get, uh, stay in the store a little bit longer than an operation would which we don't know uh still and the player base is way bigger which means we're gonna have more of these items created now than during operation riptide Still, it could make it so it's not like an oversaturated level uh, of these things created because uh, it's just hard to get passes. It's hard to farm them and you have so many different ways to spend your stars and stuff. But I would definitely be looking at a lot of these stickers, um, not only as great ways to redeem my passes right now and redeem my stars, but also great long-term or great potential long-term investments as well. I do think stuff like the Hydro Geyser, uh, it's 15 cents right now, man. If this thing drops lower, if this thing gets like below 10 cents, that would be awesome. The Hydro Steam, um, maybe the Hot Rod Heat, the Hydro 
hydro wave again it's very similar to the great wave um the these fire stickers all of these all these in the blues could be huge and then even up into the little bit more rare ones i do think the the, the ruby wave and the ruby stream could end up being very good as well but they're just so expensive right now i'm a little bit more hesitant there i think the cheap stickers from the elemental craft sticker collection loading up on those um just the same as if you know you loaded up on a seeing red sticker at three cents i think could be some potential very very long uh long-term investments could be some very strong holds. Uh, and I think there's a lot of great reasons uh, why. Uh, but they're also, like I said, great ways to redeem your stars right now. So even in the short term, they are profitable. But I think long term, they'll be even more profitable. Uh, but I did think this was crazy. I thought this was a strong bounce back. Again, after seeing this stuff, I thought the armory pass was kind of dead. I thought we were kind of fucked. I thought things were going to remain unprofitable. And this is just going to be what it was. Um, but I've been pretty surprised to see the Elemental Craft Sticker Collection bounce back in such a big way and go from being unprofitable to extremely profitable in just like a week. Uh, it's crazy how volatile all these prices are right now um so just be careful when you're buying and selling any of this stuff because uh yeah the price could change very very quickly on you but pretty much it was video today guys hopefully catch you the next one until then peace